Hi, and welcome to another Ultimate Food Challenge video. Thanks for watching, I hope you're all good. My name's Jesse, the Custard Kid Boo Boo's over there, checking out the sink as usual. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an Ultimate Breakfast Baguette Challenge. And also a Combination Street video. Now the Combination Street video is, um, I'm going to be using at least two products that I've already reviewed in previous videos. And the Ultimate uh, Breakfast Baguette Challenge is basically me trying to find the best breakfast baguette for myself. And this is the substation Mark II. So this is a variation of the original substation. So what are the changes? Well, well, let's go through the ingredients first, or the food items. So we've got a brioche baguette, which is one change. The first one just has a, a standard French stick baguette type um, bread. This is brioche. Now, I think I've made a mistake here, but we'll come to that in a bit. So we've got a brioche bun baguette. We've got cauldron Lincolnshire sausages. Previously I used the This Isn't Pork sausages, which are really good sausages. So we're trying the cauldron Lincolnshire sausage. I've stuck with the This Isn't Bacon. I I think I used this isn't bacon on the first one. I'm pretty sure I did. But if I didn't, that's what I'm using in this one. This isn't bacon rashers. Um, I've got fried tomato in there. And I've also got scrambled egg in there this time. Not fried egg. I have actually got quite large pieces of scrambled egg. And... On the bottom, I've got some red Leicester cheese instead of extra mature cheddar cheese. So there are a few differences, diff few changes to this one. Now, okay. So the brioche bun, I had a bit of a disaster with that. Now normally I'd cut the top down the centre, which I did. Cut it down the centre and when I peeled it back, the top just split in half. It just broke in half. So I've got another one out and I've had to cut it this way and basically do this with it. So there we are. That is the substation Mark II. Right, let's have a go on it, shall we? Let's have a drink. All right, Bobo. Bo. He's got his eyes on me. Right, come on then, let's have a go. How am I going to do this? <laughs> um, right, well, let's just try. Not as much flavour as Mark 1, got to say that. Um, I don't know if that's the sausages, let's, we'll, I'll come to the sausages in a minute, but let's just try a bit of sausage. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just have a little word about the sausages in a minute, but I just want another bite first. God, this is a mess. I don't think I'm going to be using the brioche bun again. Definitely not the best choice. Hi, right, Bobo. Right, the sausages. Mm. 
Now, I've had a couple of comments this week. I reviewed the cauldron sausage. Whoa. I think it's either my second or third video. So that was a long time ago, like video-wise, not time-wise, only about three months ago, but yeah, it was one of my first videos and I've had two people comment on that video this week and they both said the same thing. I think that was that video they commented on, but they've, co they've commented somewhere, I'm pretty sure it's on that video, and they both said the same thing, and that is, the cauldron sausage has changed, it's not what it used to be, and I have to hold my hands up and say I hadn't noticed, but I haven't been having them recently, so I don't know when the change actually happened, but I hadn't noticed it to be fair, but I did notice it tonight when I was cooking these. But we'll come back to that in a minute. But both of them claim they've, they've changed the recipe of them to make them vegan friendly. They used to be uh, vegetarian only, but now they've changed it to vegan and they don't taste as good. Let's just have a little go on on another one if I can get a bit do you know I think they're right there isn't as much flavour there now but what I noticed when I was got these out to cook them getting them out of the packer was a nightmare they all squish down and you try to get hold of it and you're squishing it to try and get it out. They never used to be like that. They used to be hard. They used to be fairly hard, like a sausage. You know, just pick them up, put them in the pan. Now you're like, oh, I can't get hold of it because it just squash. So I don't know what they've done with them. So if anybody's got any more information on that, Please get in the comments, let me know. Have they changed them? Um, and, and what they've done to them? What do you think of them? But yeah, so that's that with the old sausage. Now, I have to say, I'm not impressed with this Mark II at all. If I'm completely honest, <laughs> if I'm completely honest, Boo Boo, it's an absolute disaster. <laughs> It's a disaster. You know, I set the bar so high on the first one. It The first one was absolutely amazing. It really, I've had one since. I had one last week. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Literally done the same thing. And I had one about a week. Yeah, I think that was about a week ago I had one. And I think I did the first one a week before that. Oh, that was good. Um, that might be where I'm getting confused because on the second one I definitely put this isn't um, bacon in it this isn't that's what I think on the one I filmed it had a different bacon in which weren't very good but it was so good the whole thing was so good and absolutely bursting with flavour that it carried that that poor effort of the bacon I'm pretty sure it was the Morrison's Plant Revolution bacon I put in that. I might be wrong, but I think I think that's what happened. And then last week I did actually replicate it, but changed swap the bacon for this. And wow, absolutely amazing. But this, this is a poor effort. The whole thing is a disaster. I mean, look at the state of it. Oh my god. It looked like Southern Boo Boo's found in a bin outside and dragged in. It just don't seem to be as much flavour either for some reason. 
I don't know, maybe I ain't got as much, because I ain't got so much surface area to work with, I couldn't quite put so much cheese in. I've used a different cheese, not as much flavour in red Le that Red Leicester cheese I'm using as there is in Extra Mature. So I haven't put as much cheese in, I haven't put as much brown sauce in. Yeah, that, that ain't... I think the Mark II is definitely a lesson learned here. I'm definitely not going to be using a brioche bun again. Probably won't be using Red Leicester again unless I haven't got anything else. If I've got Red Leicester in the fridge, that's what I will use on the next one. But I'll try and use Extra Mature. Um, I'll probably definitely try a different sausage as well. So yeah, disappointing. Mark II's disappointing, boo boo. Right, I'm going to have one more go and then we'll have a look at what I'm doing for something sweet later. Hmm. The egg's a bit different. Fried the scrambled egg in butter. So that give it a bit more flavour. But yeah, it's a disappointment. The Mark II is nowhere near the Mark I. Nowhere near. I mean, the Mark I... I'll start off... I'll come out of the black the blocks lot of blue and greyhound you know the first one was too good really you know I really wanted to sort of build up to her but I come out like a greyhound boo boo you'd never have caught me so I was always going to go backwards a bit I think now we sort of go sideways and gradually move forward and but the first one if I was to score it that would be getting about a 9.7. It was that good. This is... This is about a six and a half, if I'm honest. That's being generous. I mean, look at the state of it. It's no, it's no good. Definitely, the Mark II, we're not going back there again. Right, so that's that for that. Now, something sweet later. I will be filming a something sweet later on. And that, excuse me, that will follow this video a day later. So if you want to catch that video, ding the old bell, hit the subscribe and all that old caper, eh, boo boo? You ain't done the bell lately. We've got it round the wrong way, actually. It's on the like side. You want it on that side, don't we, boo boo? Then we can go... Oh, I ain't done that lately. Hey, hey! Right, here we go. What have we got later on then? Well, it's actually not what I ordered. I ordered... I had a delivery off Morrison's last night and I ordered some of their... that shortcake stuff they do. Like in squares, big squares about that square. Quite chunky, about that wide. And I think... Did it have, a, I think it's got Belgian chocolate in it, I think. Yeah. So the shortcake or shortbread, whatever it's called. Didn't have any. So they sent me this, which I have had quite a lot of before. And this is the salted caramel shortbread squares. They are nice. So I'm going to have a go on these and get these scored, whether they'll get up on the the score of we'll see. We'll see, they might do. They're gonna have to score high if they do though. But yeah, we'll get these reviewed and um, yeah, with a nice cup of coffee later. Right, boo boo, there we go, that is it. So that is another ultimate food challenge. Um, as usual, I'll put the guidelines, if anybody wants to have a go at an ultimate food challenge, just have a go. Even like if you've never made a video before and you're watching this and you think, cool, I could have a go at that. 
Just get your camera out, stick it in front of you. Get a video behind the hashtags, it's that easy. So I'll put the um, guidelines in the description and um, also I'll pin them as a comment as well. Right guys, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me and the Custard Kid again soon on the next one. Take care. Oh, here we go, boo boo. Hmm. Do I or do Yeah, why not? It's got to be it up in it. I can't be wasting food. Oh, here we go. Lovely old jubbly. At least the old bacon's good, eh? That's the part. Oh, that is good about it. That's all falling apart. Look at that, boo boo. Hmm.